Hey y'all, it's Jeremy Osterberger, live at the Gulf Coast Industry Forum. I'm happy to be joined by Steve Prusak, Senior Vice President, Corporate Planning and Technology for Chevron Phillips Chemical, also known as CP Chem. Steve, how are we doing? Awesome. I am fabulous. I finished up my uh, talk and energy level is really high, so feeling good. Man, and, a, and, and now you're on with Bic Magazine. It doesn't get any better today. I, this is, I'm going to go home after this. <laughs> so, so, so it's like going it's, to Disney World. That's going to be my... It's, uh, it's basically Disney World. But, <laughs> so, so, Steve, I'm loving it. Um, for folks that don't know, you're from uh, Delaware, a blue hen. Uh, you know, Steve, real quick, tell us, uh, tell us something else about yourself that folks don't know. So uh, I have a family of six, uh, six kids. Oldest is about to turn 31. Youngest is 18, just headed off to Arkansas to start his uh, college career. So Unbelievable. I'm, a, I'm an LSU fan. I wish him his best in education. I hope his football team loses the entire time. I, no, I suspect <laughs> when you compare Arkansas to LSU, that's not a big, yeah, uh, okay, big I, ask. <laughs> I, I, I love it. Go Tigers. Well, Steve, let's get into the stuff people really want to hear about, and that is, uh, Steve, uh, talk, talk about the Golden Triangle Polymers uh, uh, project. You know, there's two world-class projects that uh, really stand out in the uh, in the CP Chem world, uh, you know, right now. But just kind of to give us an overview. Where are we at with the uh, Golden Triangle Polymers uh, company and the project happening out there in Orange, Texas? Sure. So um, we had a final investment decision on that project last fall. We would actually started some of the engineering prior to that. And so, uh, you know, from an execution standpoint, we're a little over a year into the execution phase. For the last 18 months, though, at the site, we've been doing a lot of heavy civil work, and that's now largely done. From an engineering procurement and construction standpoint, the project is about 25% complete at this point. Got about three more years to go. We'll, uh, we'll be starting up, hopefully, in the latter part of 2026. And... Um, really just about now to kind of start coming out of the ground. To date, it's been very much a civil works type of effort. It's going to start to start to take form as we get into the end of this year and in particular into next year. Steve, uh, one of the unique and interesting aspects of this project is the modules. You yep. know, to talk a little bit about that, those logistics, um, how are those modules be coming in? I think that's pretty interesting to our audience. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have um, about 200 barge movements uh, that will come through Cal Bayou. About a couple miles away from the site is a marine offloading facility. Uh, we've been working the last few months on upgrading it, preparing it to start receiving these modules. Uh, they'll be offloaded there. They'll be put on the specialty uh, heavy hauling equipment. And uh, then they'll slowly move their way down Highway 87 uh, to the construction site where they'll then permanently be placed into their, their spots. So Steve talked about 2026 goal of having a beneficial use and startup. Yep. Um, uh, t tell us a little bit about that capacity. What, what will this look like as, uh, you know, this thing is, let's say, humming, you know, six, th three, six months in. What, what is the expectation of the actual uh, capacity and production of the new units? So the, the unit's comprised of an ethane cracker that's just a little over 2 million tons per year in terms of capacity. The finished product coming off the unit are two uh, high-density polyethylene units, each a million tons, so to 2 million tons in total of product. Uh, Steve, kind of just a bigger picture, this uh, joint picture between CP Chem and Cutter or Qatar Energy, depending on what uh, region of Texas you're from, you <laughs> said either the way. Um, but Steve, just, just kind of macro level, what is the benefit of this joint venture, maybe for both organizations? Yeah, we've been uh, partners for, really the partnership started the development of it in the 1990s. Uh, we have executed three projects in Qatar. Uh, as part of the, the, this long-term strategic relationship we have with them. Um, it was a natural platform for the development of these two projects. So you've been referencing Golden Triangle, which is the one here in orange. We have a uh, project going on basically at the same time in Ras Lafan Industrial City in Qatar. It's a similar type of project. It's a 2 million ton ethane cracker and about 1.7 million tons of polyethylene capacity associated with that unit. I, in my opinion, uh, CP Chem and Cutter Energy have a very aligned view around the long-term uh, opportunities in this space. And frankly, we're both doing the same thing, which is we're looking to find advantage feedstocks that provide a competitive basis. The products that come off of these units, they're demanded by society. They're very much tied to the growth of the middle class. And frankly, in our view, they have, uh, you know, they're essential products to life in a whole variety of different dimensions. 
Uh, Steve, so many products uh, are, are the basis of modern life in the world, right? And you guys are very much in the middle of that. So, Steve, let's go into Ross LaFon a little bit more. Sure. Uh, where does that project stand right now? So that project, we took a FID decision in the uh, beginning part of this year. You may have seen in the, in the talk that we had a, a signing ceremony with uh, the minister at the beginning of the year, right after the first. And um, so that project is now about uh, 10 months into the EPC phase going very well. Um, if you were to transport yourself over there, what you'd see going on at the site is kind of all the site prep work in terms of man camps, um, the utilities that will be needed in order to house the workers, and then get things like power and water to the site. The engineering for that project is about 35-40% complete. That's being done in various parts of uh, Asia. So, it too will probably move into what I'd call more uh, traditional construction phase as we get into the latter part of next year. Great. Well, well, Steve, we know you're real busy. We appreciate you being a part of the Gulf Coast Industry Forum, and thank you for your time today with uh, BIC Magazine. Yeah, it was a blast. Thank you. Appreciate it. Always great to see you, and thank you for your time. Bye-bye.